Hi, I'm Don from Don Drones On. Recently, I've had a number of Canadian drone pilots ask me whether they should go for their advanced RPAS certification. Let's talk about the pros and cons. First of all, I'd like to clear up a misconception. Whether you're flying recreationally or commercially makes no difference from a regulatory perspective. The same rules apply. The sa it doesn't make any difference whether you have basic or advanced. Um, you can fly commercially. And for that matter, you can even fly commercially with no license at all if you're flying a sub 250 gram drone. So the commercial versus recreational thing, it's not an issue, it's not a consideration here. But there are four, I'll call them technical reasons, why you would want to have your advanced certificate. Let's go through them. Number one is if you intend to fly, or maybe your clients, if you're flying commercially, are requesting that you fly at locations nearby either uh, certified aerodromes or airports or certified heliports. These require your advanced pilot certificate to fly within those zones and to properly get uh, approval to fly within those zones. The second reason you would need your advanced certificate is if you intend to fly in controlled airspace. Now controlled airspace surrounds uh, major airports and many urban areas, Toronto being a good example, are completely covered in controlled airspace. So you, if you intend to fly there, again whether it's recreationally or commercially, you will need your advanced certificate in order to do so. Now why is that? In order to fly in those areas you need to have an approval from NAV Canada on a RPAS flight authorization request and you will not get approval on that if you have only your basic certificate. You need an advanced to get that approval. The third area is if you uh, are flying an operation that requires an SFOC. An SFOC is a special flight operation certificate and you need an SFOC if you're flying at an advertised event such as a sporting event or, or a concert or something like that or if you're flying in uh, the airspace of a military aerodrome. Uh, Trenton, Ontario for example has a large controlled airspace for military aircraft. If you intend to fly in that area you need to have um, your S an SFOC as well as your NAV Canada um, RPAS authorization. So again, you need your advanced certificate if you're going to do that. The fourth technical reason is if you're intending to fly in closer proximity to people. With your basic, you can fly within 30 meters of bystanders who are people who are not involved in your operation. With your advanced certificate, however, you can get a lot closer. You can fly up to five meters from people who are not involved in your operation. And again, for all of these activities, you need to have a, an aircraft that is actually approved to fly and do that kind of an operation. So you need your, op your uh, pilot certificate as well as a drone that's capable of flying close to, uh, to people, for example. Now, if you are going for your uh, advanced certificate, you should consider the, the, the cons as well as the pros. First of all, you have to pass your exam. The advanced certificate exam is a lot tougher than your basic exam. It's got more questions, you have less time, the passing grade is higher, and the questions themselves are a little more technical. So it's a tough exam. Anyone who's passed it will say right off, it is a doozy of an exam. You are very unlikely to pass it with one attempt. I've heard of a few people who have done so, usually manned aircraft pilots. Um, so you should expect to take at least two and typically five or six attempts to pass that advanced certificate. And don't be surprised if it even takes you long more attempts than that. Each attempt is $10, so it starts to add up over time. You should count on, say, $50 to $60 in expense for getting going through those exams. And it, it's time consuming, you've got to study, uh, it's stressful. All of those are considerations in terms of taking whether you want to go through that exam. 
then you've got your flight review. So again, a bit of a, of a hassle. You've got to arrange that. You've got to pick a flight reviewer that you're comfortable with. And I do encourage you to shop around in that regard. Um, and a flight review costs anything from 200 to 400 and even $500 in some cases. Um, it depends on your area and who you're using for your flight reviewer. So again, something to consider in terms of whether you want to go for your advanced certificate. Oh, and by the way, um, like your basic certificate, your advanced certificate is considered um, active for two years, after which point you need to pass a recency uh, criteria or a recency activity. The good news is it, it's exactly the same whether you're taking your basic or your advanced. The recency requirements are the same and I've got a whole video on that, so I'm not going to consume any of your time talking about that. But the good news is it doesn't make any difference. You don't have to get another flight review, for example, and you don't have to pass that nasty exam. So I started off talking about four technical reasons uh, why you would need your advanced certificate. But there's a couple of other considerations that are not so technical. Number one is credibility. If you're flying commercially, if you're advertising yourself, it's it certainly gives a lot of credibility to say, yeah, I've got the highest level of pilot certification possible in Canada. That goes a long way in terms of selling your capability and your professionalism to a client. So that's, that could be important for you if you're intending to fly commercially. Also, and probably just as, as relevant, it's a, a bragging point if I could put it, put it that way. Um, having your, your advanced certificate is something important. It might be important to yourself. It might be important to, that you can say to people, yeah, I've got my advanced certificate. And if that makes you feel good, if that's the kind of um, thing that you strive for, always going for the highest level of certif certification, just go for it. Just go and get your advanced certificate and you'll be happy that way. Well, there we have it. Some good reasons why you might need your advanced pilot certification, some reasons not so technical, but still important why you might want to do so, and some of the considerations uh, about why you wouldn't necessarily bother to go for your advanced. So I'd like to hear what reasons you have, if you've got your advanced, why you went for your advanced, and if you decided not to, I'd be interested in hearing that as well. Drop your comments in the below the video here. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Like the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and by all means, ring that bell so that you get notification of all my videos. Thanks again for your time. Talk to you again soon. You will need your, it, I'll have to wait for this boat to go by. There he is. You need to have a, a Nav Canada, thank you Blue Jays. Goddamn B. Gotta wait for a boat to pass. Another boat. Take down.